Standing out as a creator today can be extremely difficult. You have to put your own personal touch on things. And that's why in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do this handwritten squiggly wiggly effect. This video is inspired by Sam Colder. For the OGs out there, you guys know he kind of did this wiggly text effect back in the day. And lately in one of his latest films, he basically took that to the next step and did it with his own handwriting. You will need some tools. You'll need a tablet, a stylus, and the app called Procreate. I think it's a $12 app and you can get it on the app store. No, this is not a sponsored video. So this is actually really easy to do. So once you've opened up Procreate, come up here to the top left where it says gallery, and then come over here to the right hand side where you see the plus sign and select the plus. Then just select screen size. At the top right hand corner of the screen, you'll see this little layer icon. Go ahead and tap on it. Then select background color. Select black. And then select the brush tool. Now, for example, what you need to do is figure out the word that you want to animate or words. So I'm going to use stand out. Now come up here to the right hand side where the layer icon is and go ahead and just click on that plus sign to add another layer. Repeat the process of writing out the word or words right over what you previously wrote. So make sure you select the brush tool, repeat that process, and then come up here to the right hand side and do it again. Go ahead and add another layer. You can do as many layers as you want. I typically do three to six. Once you've completed all of the layers, come up here to the left hand side where you see the little wrench tool icon, tap it. Then come down to the very bottom of the screen and select animated MP4. Now here's where you can select the frames per second. So if you want to make it only five frames or four frames per second, you can drag this slider down or you can drag it up to make it faster. At the top right hand corner of the screen, go ahead and select export. Then what you can do is simply just airdrop it to your computer. Here we have the clip of where we want to overlay the standout text. Head over to your download folder and go ahead and drag it into DaVinci Resolve. Since I only wrote out four frames, it's going to be a really short clip. So in order to make it longer, you can hold down option on your keyboard and click and drag to duplicate the clip. Go ahead and do that a few times. Then highlight all of those clips that you just duplicated and we're going to do the same thing. Select all of them, hold down option and drag all these over. Now highlight all of those clips, right click and select new compound clip, then select create. Now, as you can see, we still have a black background. So in order to get rid of that, go ahead and under the composite mode, you can select add. At the top right hand corner in the inspector, you can change the zoom to make the text smaller or bigger. I'm going to make it slightly smaller and I'm going to move the position X and Y over so it's over on the right hand side of the screen. Now it's time to take this a little bit further and add a little bit of special sauce. Come up here to the effects, then select open effects. In the search bar, type in glow. Drag the glow effect on top of our compound clip. As you can see, it creates a little bit of glow around it but I'm gonna show you my personal settings to kind of get it to just pop a little bit more. What I like to do is under the glow settings, come under the color and composite section, turn the gain all the way up. Then under the spread, you can turn this down. Turn it down until it kind of pops out like that. Then go ahead and reset the gain. Then what I like to do is turn up the spread just a little bit. You're gonna have to find a good balance between these two to get what you're looking for. You can also mess with the shine threshold a little bit. It just makes a very minor adjustment though. Now, if you guys wanna know how to do this typewriter effect and then you have it go into the squiggly thing, what you can do is come up here to your effects, click on toolbox and then click on titles. Come down to where you see JF typewriter. You guys can download this linked down in the description. Then go ahead and drag that into your timeline. So for this example, I have to have the typewriter say just like. So I'm going to come up here to the right hand side, type in just like. Then up here, select the settings and move the position over here. The text is already going to be right here. So I just have to move this like that. And I use the exact same technique as you saw earlier in the video. 
to basically create that wiggly text effect in combination with my typewriter plugin. If you want to learn how to draw on your videos, check out this video right here.